Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Kai X Limitless. We back with another one. And it looks like Drewski and Ruby Rose have been taking shots at each other, going back and forth. And I don't think it's a good look for either one of them. So this all started when Drewski and Ruby Rose did a couple of skits together, pretty much looking like a couple. Then they dropped some pics and videos of them boot up. Then they quickly become one of the most viral couples on social media. And many women started saying comments on the shade room like, wow, you know, the nice guy wins in the end. You know, uh, big guys are in, right? You know, women start to look at him differently because they see him with Ruby Rose, someone who a lot of these chicks actually look up to. And at first, a lot of people couldn't believe it until they started cranking out more and more content. You know, they're going on vacation. You see Ruby Rose, you know, trying to cook for Drewski. They're laid up together, you know, started to become convincing for people and people stopped thinking it was fake until recently Ruby Rose came out and said this. She said, and for the record, I never slept with that man. The ninja paid for PR, not the P-U-S-S-Y. Okay, that's very telling, right? Her comment right there means, okay, he didn't pay for the full package, right? Ruby Rose pretty much exposes herself as a woman who sells services. We'll just put it like that. And it looks like Drewski didn't pay for the full service. Seems like Drewski paid for the girlfriend experience and he may have ran out of money before he got to the happy ending. If Drewski could pay to be your girlfriend, that means you could be bought and she's pretty much a glorified escort. So let's talk about why Drewski would potentially pay for this relationship. And I think it did temporarily work, right? If he did pay for this relationship, it went viral on the shade room. People started looking at Drewski a little bit more attractively, right? Saying, okay, he can pull baddies. Is that necessarily needed for what Drewski does? I don't think so. To be a comedian, do you need to have the baddest chicks in the game? Not really. Maybe if Drewski was a rapper, being next to Ruby Rose could get you something. But I think Ruby Rose actually had more to gain out of this situation than Drewski. Ruby Rose doesn't have a real talent besides looking good. Her music career isn't really doing nothing right now. On the other hand, Drewski has all the potential in the world when it comes to stand-up comedy, television, even movies. So the sky's the limit when it comes to Drewski's earning potential. And Ruby Rose is the kind of person that needs to stand next to that talented person to stay relevant. So it wouldn't make that much sense for Drewski to be paying Ruby Rose. And I don't understand why she's going out of her way to make sure everybody knows she did not sleep with Drewski when she's already slept with half of the industry. I guess she wanted to be made clear that she only sleeps with rappers. So after Ruby Rose said, you know, Drewski is out here paying me to be his girlfriend. He did a post saying no PR needed. So Drewski denies that he paid Ruby Rose for the relationship for PR. But when he explained why they broke up, he did say there was some money involved in and she was pretty expensive to date. What was the learning factor in their relationship? What did um, you learn from it? I learned that uh, when you got a you got a bad bitch, you can't really. Oh my, my bad. Oh, yeah, I can't. it's Sorry. okay. Um, Go ahead. So when you have a, a, a beautiful woman, <laughs> yeah, we have a beautiful woman of that caliber. Of that caliber. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? You know, it, it comes with a lot, and I wasn't really. I, I don't know if I was prepared yet, mm -hmm. but I, I learned a lot from it. So I think um, coming out of that, you know. You you better have them pockets ready. Oh, oh, oh so, yeah. so okay. So what is it? I ain't saying that's what happened. No, I'm I, saying so. I, I want to understand. So was it yeah. more financial when you deal with nah, a woman of that cali yeah, caliber? Yeah, but I think it's all. You just gotta be ready because you don't know when you're gonna have to be pulling that wallet out. Oh, <laughs> like if y'all go to a store, like you need to buy me this yeah, fifteen thousand you, you, Birkin. Yeah, you could be at a dinner and uh, she want all the expensive stuff on that on that menu. But yeah. learning what you what you know now, yeah, would you go after a woman? Of that uh, but yeah, no, nah, I think um, yeah, I, shit, I might even spend the block on this. I don't, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I'm, 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 I might, I might go back and spend the block. Even though Drewski said that Ruby Rose is high maintenance to date and whatnot, you know, I can see that. I'm pretty sure Ruby Rose expects certain things. She want to go to high-end restaurants and she expects certain gifts and whatnot. But I don't know if I can wrap my mind around that he's literally paying her 30k a month to be his girlfriend, right? That's a little bit wild. And I don't think he will have to do that, 
right? So let me know what y'all think in the comment box. Do y'all think that Drewski was really paying Ruby Rose, you know, to be his girl, like, directly? So let me know what y'all think. Appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Like the video. Subscribe. We gone.